Now, this video is a pretty weird one because like if you guys have been on the channel for long enough, then you guys know that I've made videos in the past talking about, you know, you know, why Garo is a lot stronger than we think, etc, etc. Now, I'm going to be talking about why Garo might not be as strong as we think or why Garo is weaker than we think or, you know, you get what I'm trying to say basically but of course before we get into the video make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new because if you can't already tell i post quite a lot of one punch man content and if you like one punch man then you know the only reasonable thing to do is to make that subscribe button gray and not red uh, i'm pretty sure it turns gray when you I i'm not sure but anyway let's just get into the video because there's quite a few things to talk about in this one now of course let's just start off with like going quickly over the events that happened in chapter 162 of one punch man now we know that chapter 162 was pretty much the proper beginning of saitama versus garu which was pretty unexpected for me because i was predicting that maybe we might you know see garu versus the s class but you know as we all know the manga you know likes to reshuffle and you know do things in different order to the webcomic or even change things completely to the webcomic but anyway back to what i was saying so chapter 162 which is basically uh you know saitama versus garu we saw garu transform further into a more monstrous form and i'm not sure if this is going to be his final form i'm pretty sure he's still going to have at least maybe one form after this which is going to be like his ultimate final awakened form maybe two i'm not too sure you know the manga likes to do all sorts of things but we know that you know garo is getting closer to his final form and i know a lot of guys like to compare garo to boros well awaken garo to boros and we know that manga boros was insane in terms of strength speed all of that stuff and he showed some amazing feats and so far garo has shown feats that i guess can be kind of comparable to boros but just not on the same level as boros like for example now well in the recent chapter we saw that even though garo tried his hardest with his you know quote-unquote perfected fist he still wasn't able to you know blow saitama away like the way boros did boros was you know whacking saitama around exchanging blows with him and fair enough you know near the beginning you know near the beginning of the chapter sorry we saw that you know awaken garo or garo and saitama were kind of fighting in space garo was able to evade saitama's dodge you know saitama as punches etc etc i'm pretty sure it's been like confirmed that you know garo is faster than boros but just not stronger like his attack potency just isn't on boros's level just yet well i'm not sure if he will ever get to boros's level but you know we just have to wait and see for what happens next in the manga but continue you know continuing to what i was saying before i'm basically starting to see that garo might not reach the levels that people are expecting him to reach that's why i'm trying to make this video to kind of i guess give you know you guys a warning well garo fans i'm a garo fan as well but just to give you guys a warning that garo might not be as strong as we are expecting him to be because so far he hasn't shown any feats that have trumped any of boris's feats or trumped any of boris's most impressive feats so far so I mean, it could, you know, Garo could very well in the next chapter just turn up and completely destroy all of our expectations. But that's kind of a bit unlikely because, you know, Garo still hasn't, you know, got to his final form. And I doubt that we're going to see, you know, Garo's final form in the next chapter because at that point, in my opinion, it will just seem just a little bit rushed now of course back to what i was saying about garo currently i feel like garo's most impressive feats that we've seen from him so far is definitely like splitting sage centipede in half that's definitely a very impressive feat he was also able to you know destroy platinum s and overwhelm flashy flash all that good stuff he was also able to i guess survive many hits from evil ocean water etc he was able to you know i guess he was able to tank a blow from saitama because i guess he didn't die when saitama hit him but again it leads on to another branching point because in the last chapter we see that saitama Saitama actually says that, you know, he talks to Tario and he's saying that, you know, uh, I, you know, you want me to, you know, stop him. And obviously Tario says, yes. And of course, Saitama 
says to you know Tario that you know uh, you don't want me to kill him basically saying basically Saitama basically said he's not going to take Garo seriously or basically he's not going to you know fight with killing intent the same way he fought against Boros which you can say pretty much immediately just yeah like eradicates the idea of Garo being stronger than Boros many could say that but at the same time it all comes down to many different factors like feats and you know durability feats ex you know etc etc all that good stuff so you know garo you know it's just to make to put it into simple terms it just seems like it's less likely it's becoming less and less more likely that garo will surpass boros in terms of strength in the manga because i feel like at the end of this well this is just my prediction at this point i'm not hating on garo i'm not like a Boros uh, stan or a Boros fan. I love Boros. I love Garo the exact same. But it's just looking like Garo probably won't be that much stronger than his webcomic version. I feel like he will be stronger than the webcomic version, but just not a lot stronger or not as much stronger as we thought he would be, which is pretty disappointing because. I mean, everyone was expecting, you know, Garo and, you know, Awaken Garo in the manga to be, you know, a different level of strength, maybe even just completely surpassing Boris completely, which I guess at this point isn't looking so good for Garo. But if Garo could just, I guess, <laughs> Garo at the moment needs a miracle because I guess the, the community right now is pretty split on whether or not they even like Garo at this point. People are saying, you know, Garo in the manga seems a lot less darker. He seems more like, you know, humanized, which I guess is a pretty good thing in my opinion. I feel like, you know, I, I guess portraying Garo as a more humanized character would, I guess, play more, I guess, add more to his character. I feel like webcomic Garo seemed a bit just too edgy if that makes sense i feel like uh the webcomic version of garo was to you know kill kill darkness all, all of that stuff you know the, the typical villain stuff but manga garo seems a lot more humanized and seems a lot more redeemable which i guess spoiler alert for any manga i guess manga only is at the end of this arc garo does get redeemed or he does i guess abandon his whole goal of becoming a true monster but i feel like at the end of the day i still hope that garo does end up i guess becoming as strong as we expect and i hope everyone you know rallies behind garo i'm sure that garo will become darker like in the next few chapters hopefully i'm praying because i do have trust in one but at the moment you know his writing can be i guess question by a lot but personally i don't see any problems of it well i don't see too much problems of it but apart from that that's pretty much all i have to say for this video if you liked the video make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new and apart from that i will see you in my next video